Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we will be making butter chicken. After being asked a lot of times from our viewers, so this is for you guys how to make butter chicken from scratch at home. Make sure you guys watch the entire video till the end. Alright, so here we have the ingredients for for the butter chicken. Um, absolutely, as you can see, you need a lot of butter in order to make a perfect butter chicken. Um, but let me tell you from the scratch, so what we're doing, we actually making a butter chicken for around four people. So what you need, you need around boneless chicken, which is approximately one pound. If you have more than that, well and good, but I'm using actually boneless around one pound or one and a half pound, I would say, uh, chicken weight. Now, we do have a spa, the cream, which is almost uh, um, one cup of the cream. Uh, cream is always up to you. I'm using a 10% um, of the cream. Um, uh, but anyway, it's up to you if you would like to make 15 or add 15 or 18% of the cream. It's totally up to your taste. We do need a good amount of butter, which is here. Here I have the one um, tomato, which is uh, cut. Uh, I do cut very fine, small, fine chopped onion. As you can see, we do have a two plates here, which contains a different kind of spices. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, this plate as spices first because I have to marinate the chicken. Now, um, so here, as you can see now, I do have uh, ginger garlic, which is here. And I do have the half teaspoon of uh, the red pepper. Uh, it's totally up to you again if uh, we don't like to eat much spicy food. Um, and we do have a quarter teaspoon of uh, the salt, a uh, quarter teaspoon of uh, the black pepper. I do have the cumin and uh, coriander powder, which is already mixed, one teaspoon, and uh, um, a lemon. So what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to marinate the chicken with these spices. Okay, so let's marinate the chicken. So I'm adding all of my boneless chicken here. And First, I'm going to add the ginger garlic and all of the spices I'm going to dump in here and the lime, very important. I'm going to squeeze the lime gently here. Marination is very, very important because, you know, if you don't marinate the chicken, you know, you're not really going to get the, uh, the spices, uh, real spices taste. So, Usually what I do, I marinate the chicken and then I leave it for at least for 10-15 for minutes because these spices are, are pretty strong though. Um, end of the day, this chicken, when it's going to be ready, it's going to be like little medium spicy uh, kind of butter chicken because not everybody likes the sweet butter chicken. So we would like, we don't eat much spicy food, but we eat medium spicy, which is, I would say, most of the people liking it. So now our, what we're going to do, we're going to fry our chicken. So the butter is here. I'm going to add the butter. Now I'll wait a little bit. So our butter is melted. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the chicken. And we're going to fry the chicken. You really don't need to cook the chicken here. All you need to do, you need to just fry the chicken until you know the chicken color turns from pink to light brown because you're going to cook the chicken in the uh, the thick gravy which is which is our next step. Um, but guys, this is very very important because when you're going to fry the chicken in the butter, um, the flavor of the butter really going to merge with the chicken um, and it's going to be very tasty. Alright, so our chicken is almost turned light brown. As you can see, the color is beautiful. The butter is all over it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it out the chicken in the plate. And the good part, which I always love it, you really don't need to change the pan. We're going to use the same pan because there's already a butter in there. But what we're going to do, we're going to add more butter. And once the butter is melted, we're going to add our onion and the rest of the spices. So 
so the butter is melted and what I'm gonna do I'm going to add our one fine chopped onion and we're going to saute our onion and going to cook our onion until the onion turn um, light brown perfect so our onion turns light brown the aroma of the butter it's really amazing it's it's really outstanding a flavor for sure you can anticipate what kind of flavor really you're going to get it so it's a it's a time for us to add all of our spices the one which actually I show you before so what exactly we do have here we do have a garam masala which is I'm adding approximately half teaspoon I do have a turmeric and I also added the uh, the orange color which you really need it so quarter spoon of turmeric um, um, powder, uh, the color powder, half teaspoon of, uh, I also just want to be sure my onion doesn't get brown, uh, it's perfect, half teaspoon of um, the um, um, the red pepper, half teaspoon of the, um, oh sorry, full teaspoon of the um, of the, um, the salt, and here I have mixed coriander powder with cumin, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add all my spices here. I'm going to saute it, just to be sure my spices blend well. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my tomatoes here. And I'm going to cook at least for the next 10 minutes until the tomatoes blend well and uh, mix well, get softened and Yes. So our tomatoes are soft, blend well. You can see that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to blend this paste uh, in the blender because we just want to be sure there's the cream, the, the sauce, it's like a creamy, there is no raw onion, you don't chew or you don't feel any piece of tomatoes so the perfect the right thing it is what we need to do is uh, we need to pay the blend all of this paste into a blender so we blend our paste so I'm just adding all of the paste into a blender oh sorry into a pan now okay so what we're gonna do I just added a bit water because some of the paste got stuck into a blender so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cook it for the next five minutes and then we're going to add our chicken. Okay, our sauce is blended well, so after a few minutes of cooking the sauce, it's a time for me to add our fried chicken. Just want to be sure all the butter goes inside because the the aroma of the butter is it's outstanding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it and we're going to cook it for the next 10 minutes. So the chicken going to cook in the sauce and all the flavor of the sauce going to be uh, go into the chicken. Uh, so let's cover it and cook it for the next 10 minutes. Okay, so almost 5 minutes and you can see that the oil the butter it's it's coming up coming up on the surface so it's a time for us to add our cream so we're going to cook around five to seven minutes based on your stove but I'm going to cook it on the uh, on the little bit at the lower end because I just want the butter gonna cup come right on the surface and the flavor of if you're gonna cook on the high heat because you add a cream it's going to burn the cream so do not go to the high flame let's turn your stove on the lower heat and cook for seven to eight minutes it's almost seven it's almost seven minutes so you can see now the butter it's uh, it's right above uh, on the surface now and the sauce it's thick and creamy this is the truly butter chicken the aroma it's outstanding uh, and the chicken is uh, it's ready to serve 
as you can see we have finished our butter chicken and it looks nice it looks amazing you can see how creamy it looks it smells amazing if you guys try this dish out make sure you comment below and tell us how it was if you enjoy our content subscribe with the notification to get notified whenever we upload